Hi everybody, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to use the chat tool in Microsoft Teams. This is a great tool for connecting with your classmates or your instructors outside of live class time and even during live class time. Now, the screen that you're seeing right now, I'm at my Teams homepage. You're probably not going to see as many Teams on your dashboard as this. If I want to start a new chat with anybody at any time, I can go to the chat tab over here. It's on the left hand side. You'll see a link called chat. I click on this and now you can see my chat history. I have a whole bunch of different chats uh, here. All the chats that I've participated in over the past couple of months, uh, including one today that I've participated in with my colleague from the CBU library, Laura Symes. Now I'm going to start a new chat with Laura and Laura is actually on the line with me now. You can see her up here in the in the window that she's in a Teams meeting with me right now. We're going to start a new chat and you're going to see the difference between how to do a normal chat and how to do some threaded replies and uh, how to access the chat tool in different ways. So to start a new chat with anybody, you want to look for this icon up here which says new chat. I click on this, it's going to open up a blank chat window for me, and I can enter in the name of somebody who I want to add to this chat. This is what we call tagging somebody. Just like on Twitter, you use the at symbol and you start typing their name. So in this case, I'm looking for Laura and all the Lauras who are in the system come up. Laura Symes comes up first because I have been in contact with her recently. I add her to the conversation. And now I can start typing a new message down here to her. And I'm going to tag her again in this message just so that she sees this one pop up. And I hit enter and it sends that message. So hopefully Laura is going to respond to me in just a moment. So now you can see that Laura is typing away. It tells me when somebody in this chat group is typing and here's Laura's message. Now, if I type another message in here, I can type her name. Uh, if I don't use the at symbol, it's not going to tag her. It will just have the message. You can see that this is a straight linear chat uh, messaging system here right now. There's no threading to these. We could start multiple conversations under this chat and it will go in a linear format. This can get a little bit confusing if you've had a lot of conversations going on. Take, for example, this here, you have a bunch of conversations or uh, this example down here. There's lots of messages in some of these. It can get a little bit uh, complicated if you have a lot of messages in the thread. So how do you keep track of these when you have a lot of messages in here? Well, you can do something that we call threaded replies. Now, if I wanted to create a threaded reply and have a threaded conversation within a larger group, I can come back to my activity area, for example, and here's a larger conversation that's been going on for quite some time with a bunch of faculty who are participating in a professional development course over the summer. So I'm going to take my friend AJ here now, and I'm going to give him, rather than using the type a new message down here, which is going to create these linear uh, messages, these linear replies, I'm actually going to click the reply button to, uh, to AJ here now. And I'll tag him in this. And I'm going to let him know that he can ignore this message. And now you can see that all these messages are threaded together. For example, this one here that uh, my colleague from the Center for Teaching and Learning, Terry McDonald, has created has 136 replies and you can expand them and collapse them as opposed to our chat area here where Laura and I are talking and it's all in linear fashion. The threaded replies are a very useful tool if you're taking part in a much longer conversation and you want to group some of your responses together and make them easier to find. Now I've already shown you how I can tag Laura in a chat here now simply uh, just like in Twitter by using the at symbol uh, and typing her name and clicking that and that will tag her in the message. What if I wanted to tag a whole group? 
well, I can come back to my teams area. I have uh, some teams ready that I can play around with here now. I think I have some uh, some subgroups in my sample class here, breakout team one, breakout team two, for example. Let's say I wanted to send a message to just those people who are meeting here under breakout team one. I can actually tag them by hitting the at symbol and start typing the name of the channel. So everyone who's in this channel will get an alert that they have been tagged in a message rather than just one individual. 